Well, the revival of waka navigation within Aotearoa has also seen the emergence of waka building. The legacy left behind by Sir Hector Busby has inspired some of his students, like Hemi Eduera, to teach the next generation. One of his latest graduates includes a descendant of Ngāti Kuri and the first wahine to go through his tutelage. The key to successful waka construction is its buoyancy. When you're in it on the water and then you roll it side to side and it splays the water up. Nominated by her iwi of Ngāti Kuri, Hine Waitai is a student of Ngā Topuwai o Te Waka, a wānanga that specialises in building traditional waka. In my first year I spent four months of the year in other countries building waka. Four months of the year overseas, so Hawaii, um, Washington State, Washington DC, Seattle. We were away for a month at a time sometimes. Wahine are rarely seen in the waka building space and some challenges are expected. It's cool. It's really, um, I don't know, I think I find it's very empowering for other people. Um, yeah, so and and I I don't mind being that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm kind of just like, I love it and it's my mahi so I just get on with it. If I'm quite honest, I don't have to face a lot of those challenges because of my tutor. He takes them on for me and he only, um, he only brings me into spaces that are safe for me. One of the key lessons she has learned in building waka is to have an open mind. It's kind of an amalgamation of uh, <laughs> all these real interesting techniques that wouldn't, don't make sense in a Western world and sometimes some of the things and um, tools we use don't make sense in a, in a Māori world so it's kind of like it's a bit conflicting on, in a few different things so you have to, have to come with an open mind and be able to be taught. Now we have that V shape. And these things, if it, you get water in it, or pull, you can pull this with water and still shake it out. Some of these logs give us a bit of grief, and sometimes you want to go, ah, this one's not going to be a waka, it's going to be firewood. <laughs> te kakenga kawiti pashara, te ao tapatahi.